Hey folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play RimWorld. It is Wanda's Legacy, and we are still building towards the end game. We also got these uh, extra build room bedrooms built that I guess we could probably go and assign to someone. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of like really jealous people right now who are like, what the heck, man? We've got these bedrooms. Why aren't we using them? It's like, all right, all right, I get it. Kind of makes sense. Again, the it is quite handy. The, this like super high quality barracks is actually pretty nice, but yeah, we'll we'll throw some more people in there. So I don't think we have any more couples that are looking for a fancier room. Um. So I don't know. I'm gonna prioritize over here. Colo is a little crankier. Maybe we'll go ahead and give it to you. And just keep an eye out for that. Huntsman's not terribly high, and I think your bed... Your bed's over there. Yeah, we'll probably end up putting Huntsman on one of these. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe we'll use them as a reward. Who knows? We still have the forced weather going on, which I think is still... I think is good? I mean, again, it's not perfect for moods, but it seems pretty convenient. Legendary. Plain leather pants. Ooh. -hoo. Oh, my. Um... How are we doing on steel? Because we did import some. We still don't have an infinitude. Wow, the component count's going down fast. I'm actually shocked at how quickly we're burning through components. I mean, we are setting up a bunch of turrets and things like that, so it kind of makes sense. Of course, we have tons of components left on this map. I just realized we could do a little exploratory tunnel over here, too. Raid! Nash, attack immediately, breach raid. From the south... I mean, they're tribals, which means uh, individually not very scary, but there's going to be a whole heckin' lot of them. Let's throw, uh... Oh, uh, who's not pregnant anymore? Laura's still pregnant. Dylish gave birth, right? Yeah. Well, I guess anyone I'm not recruiting, we're going to make sure to restrict you to indoors. We're going to have to move this if we're going to use this as a double layer defense against things. Because I'm betting that's where they're going to come in again, this group. Which is annoying because we're not really set to fight there. We literally, like, I can't, well, I can stand in some of these places. All right. Yeah, get the hell out of the south. Hopefully Kamiko can outrun them. Uh, they've decided that the winning move is to attack the rock. Should we just engage them outside the base? Is there any benefit to doing that? Maybe we can use the water here as a slowdown? Is that crazy? Or is it just crazy enough to work? Are they still just smashing that random stone? Yeah, we got you. Heck, even you can participate because you've got a long range shot. Um. Okay, well that was unexpected. But if they're willing to just run into our kill box, I guess I won't complain. You have chosen poorly. I mean, they're still mashing at walls, but <laughs> they're not bypassing any kind of defense. They are getting to take advantage of the fact that um, our people aren't in position here. Uh, do we have a combat command? We'll use it. It actually might not be that freaky, especially since we're coming through here, but all of a sudden I got, you know what, a little nervous. Like, what if something does happen all of a sudden? How annoying would that be? Oh, I forgot we had this door uh, left open. Get vertigoed. Oh, right. Laura's slow because she's the one who's still pregnant. Um, where are you going? You're going to there. Okay, they're fleeing. Oh, they did kill one of my... Well, two of my turrets, actually. Well, maybe not that one. That one may have... It's just me. It's really loud today. Maybe I just have my speakers up higher. All right. 
Um. Yeah, unrestrict. Unrestrict for Laura. You're gonna stay in the walled areas. Reset because we got some fire. I'm gonna put that out. Do that and capture some down prawns. Mmm, prawns. Oh, we have too many prisoners. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and just get a few more beds in here because we can't. Oh, was I going to move something? Oh, I was thinking about moving this and setting up the uh, nutrient paste dispenser, wasn't I? It's still kind of appealing. I mean, they really don't need a lot of space in here. I gotta move this bed to there. I don't know what can happen if someone's in it. You know what? Let's not worry about it. And maybe I will just go ahead and build some more beds for now. <clears throat> All right. So some of these prisoners will make it. Some of them won't. Some of them we care about. Some of them we don't. You've lost a leg. And you're nervous. Execute. You have liver cirrhosis. And you can't dumb labor. quite good at fighting. Greedy and abrasive is annoying. And you're an impid. I mean, we can give you a good bedroom so that your greediness isn't a problem. We might want another good fighter for what's going to come up. All right. You might get recruited. You're dead in six seconds, so I guess that's going to free up a bed. <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, those are the executes. Okay. Uh, yeah, you're about to go down as well. Probably... Yep. I guess I, maybe I shouldn't even gone and bothered evaluating people. Although the execute might have been useful there. You've lost a lung. And... Ooh, you might survive! Slowpoke. You're a good fighter, though. You know, Slowpoke's not a great trait, but I actually think we might go and, uh, and grab you here. All right. All right, because Port and Fendon still have beds assigned to them. I can't de-assign it. Actually, maybe I can't. I medical and then unmedical. There you go. There you go. Port and Fendon never need their own beds. Okay, I forgot that they were occupying all that. All right, you got a couple of peeps. Uh, we gotta do some rebuilds. We gotta do a whole bunch more butchering. But hey, we're gonna get more leather. Right, um, this area here. What am I looking for here? Floor, sterile, bam. You're gonna go there. And there. Okay. And yep, we're just going to get more simultaneous cooking going on. We do have a lot of people, and we have a lot of cooks. So we may as well go ahead and do it all at the same time. We might still be limited a little bit by butchering rate, but that's okay. Yeah, those corpses are being pulled in pretty well. I don't know if a urgent haul makes much of a difference here. I don't know. Maybe I'll go ahead and do that anyway. We'll get the no storage for a while while... We're waiting for things here. We might want to encourage some butchering action. It's when you're asleep, but you're fine. Come over here. Go to work. And someone's working the outside one, too. Perfect. That's what I want to see. All right, yeah. Keep processing some that. Making some fine meals. Still wants lots of survival meals as well. Horses are going well. Psychoid Lee is deteriorated in storage. We really weren't using enough of it? Interesting. Some more statues. How are the bedrooms coming along? They're coming. Um, Huntsman, I said I was going to give you 
one of these rooms. I think you deserve it. You've been around for a while and uh, we find you incredibly useful. Although you will lose your rooms if anyone couples up. People who couple up will get priority over the uh, the actual bedrooms. So we'll call the lamp over there. Let's say you don't have a heater, but yeah, you're getting vented from the main room, so that's okay. Huntsman's still on butchering, although we'll have to cancel your prioritized tasks soonish here. Are you? Oh. Yeah, you can just drop this on the ground. Well. No, I suppose we don't. Because if you can put it in a freezer, do it. I'll leave uh, the kibble and stuff can go on the ground, though. That's fine. Yeah, freezer completely full. Nice armchair. Uh, copy. Case linked. Yeah, we'll salt. Lucy. Uh, I mean, this would be pretty easy to do. Oh, yeah, we just send an 11 to shoulder. Hey, this would be trivial easy to do. But I don't think I care about it. I'll leave it in the queue. I won't re reject it out of hand, but if someone goes and, like, destroys our Lucy or something, then we might need to accept that quest for it. Major break risk. Oh, Huntsman. Yes, sorry. You were probably still being forced to do stuff. Go and have a snoozle. Oh, we don't have power that goes over here. All right, let's do it. Let's unforbid that as well. Uh, all right, we still have some steel, which is good. That's still going on. Okay, bodies. Okay, some are still going to be brought over there, but we've fixed the space thing a bit. Look at the look at all the loot explosions that are happening over here, post butchering. Ridiculous. Still working on those fine meals. But yeah, that's the thing. We might need more simultaneous stuff just to stay ahead of the fine meals so that we can actually get this to the the survival meals. Although those numbers have gone up a lot, so that's good. Go. Still going to work here? Yeah. Lots of stuff to clean up. Oh, we're still we're still maxing on our storage. Uh, so we're gonna paste that in there too. There you go. So we can have up to four cooks working at the same time. And we do have six cooks enabled. So really we could work all four of the cookers and both butcheries simultaneously. Which sometimes that is gonna be quite desirable, actually. I mean a lot of times I think people will have other things to do. But yeah, I don't mind that. Laura, oh, you're, you're blinking here. Are you about to pop? See how that's blinking red? Maybe it always does during the third trimester? I don't know. Go to sleep. Oh, that's quite a walk to get your bedroom. I'm so sorry. Paid raid source. Marine armor. That's a lot of plasteel. So yeah, guard by eight Neanderthals. So we're gonna have to go and, and boop this, which and there may be an unknown threat. Still, this seems very doable for kind of a nice reward between these two. I think we'll be saying yes to that. And we'll have to send quite a number of peeps out there. Okay, our static defenses are up and running. Because I could delay accepting this for a little bit, but everyone's fine. Obviously, we don't bring Laura, and we also want to make sure to leave one doctor behind. Maybe uh, Laura and Huntsman, Haskins the husband, so maybe we do that. Yeah, we'll probably leave the Melayers behind anyway. Okay, I think we do it. And I think we do it kind of, sort of, right away. We'll get notified about the camp. Okay, site has appeared. Oh yeah, we got our rewards right away. That makes sense. All right, and it's very close, which is great. So we're just heading over here. We're going to bring, not Brennan, not Kale in the Pacifist, not either of our two Melayers, not Laura, and not Huntsman. And maybe we leave a couple more people behind. Okay. Bring lots of horses. We 
drink some tea. Uh, food situation should be fine because we really shouldn't be out very long, but we'll throw in a little bit more packaged survival meals. Purple meds, regular meds. I'm not going to bring the glitter world, but I'll bring more regular medicine with us. All right, let's go. It's going to be quite the caravan to pack up. Also, they might go to sleep as soon as they leave the map. Or it might just take them so long to pack up that that's not going to happen. We'll see. We might need to assign someone to wardening, actually, after everyone leaves here. We'll, we'll see what it says. We might get a complaint about it. And, oh, wait. Someone's got to pack up prestige marine armor. I don't want to give it to Emily, right? I mean, she's probably already wearing that. It's masterwork, masterwork. Yeah, it's kind of same, same. We'll just make sure to stock Wow, you guys are, have organized that caravan immediately? I'm shocked. Shocked that you guys pulled that off. Yeah, we do need a warden. Miko. Oh, Haskin can do it too. You know what? We'll just enable it for both of you. And we might disable that afterwards. Yeah, immediately go to sleep. That's okay. They'll show up at the raid well rested, I guess. All right. Yeah, we need a lot of stuff sorted out. We could get some extra haulers. You know, maybe it's not a bad idea. Listen, um, Haskin. Maybe an extra cleaner and an extra hauler? No, I think just two lifters. No, I don't want... Three Resurrector Mixerms is pretty amazing. But I don't want to deal with those, those pollution packs. That is amazing. I mean, we still have one Resurrector Serum over here. Yeah, a couple of potential fighters. All right, we're back on the road. A war merchant. I guess it's going to be um, Haskin that talks to them. Their best social skill person. They're not particularly high. Where the hell are you guys going? Laura's in labor. Okay. We're going to gather for birth. We're going to ignore the war merchant for a second. Or possibly all together. Well, I suppose I could send Kamiko out there. You know what? Why don't you go just have a chit-chat? And we'll see what's what. I don't like that you assembled so far away. I mean, I, admittedly, we've got some construction over there, but seriously. You have gene packs now. Um, I don't even know if we're going to be buying anything from him, from them, but we can sell them a bunch of crap that we got in this latest raid. Save us the trouble of burning them. Like, hardly worth any money. Keep this charge rifle and these EMPs. Ooh. There you go. All right, we have arrived over at the site. Again, there's the threat of unknown, an unknown threat. What was that? A rainy thunderstorm. Should I dare use the Neuroquake? Creature in range, but outside the safe inner circle, driven violently insane. I wonder if we can get our horses out from that range. I'm not sure that we can. Plus diplomatic, blah, blah, blah. Okay, lightning, settle down. Okay, we'll do this and then we'll advance into more cover here. I mean, this should be a rawful stomp depending on what the, the threat is. Yeah, they're actually all mostly on melee, so I don't even have to worry about cover here. Yeah, they're already in flee. Beavers? Man hunting alpha beavers. All right. 
Tighten up our defense. That's not what I was expecting from the ambush, but I guess we'll take it. Not over yet. Yeah, that's a much bigger group of them, and yet not terribly scared. We have great shooters with great weapons. Is that it? Yay! Is that? Okay. Let's um let's assemble on the world map. Reform caravan, come back home. Good. Maybe trunks? Now oh, some of these weapons are worth a decent amount of cash. I guess they can be uranium. Wow. I don't know if the meat will rot along the way. Uh, I'm not going to bring the low quality bedrolls. All right, come on home. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, Laura's giving birth. Oh, she's so hungry. I'm gonna feed her. Ooh, Huntsman is the one with the uh, mood break here. I mean, you're tired and hungry, but you know what? So is Laura. Get the job done. Watch him have a mood break right now in the middle of labor. How frustrating would that be? For everyone involved. There we go. It's a lady below me, Haskin. Now, we're not gonna name you Haskin because that's just gonna be confusing. So, we're gonna rename you. Actually, what I'll do is I'll just move your. Uh, your first name to your nickname. Xenia. Can I insert Ksenia? There we go. Into that. Squirt, can you do that for me? Prioritize growing. Thank you. Um, ditch over here is going on a bit of a mental break. Okay, well. I might just knock you down with some very aggro weapons here. I don't want anyone with a melee weapon. Now, Luca, I don't think you'll make it in time, but we'll send you over here anyway. Melee. It's just gonna have to be Kamiko here. Um, I think pull you back so that we can get a couple people in if they follow through the door. No, don't shoot, don't shoot, don't shoot, don't shoot. There you go. Anyway. Oh. Now they gotta turn around. See, they're already pretty badly hurt, so I'm hoping Kamiko can win this fight. Kamiko does down, then we just start shooting you. Or we stab you with Haskin. Ah, oh, there we go. Capture. Go. Alright. All good. Brick with Huntsman, you're gonna go for your rest, which is good. Starvation, bio starvation. Fill this vat. Jeez. I thought they pre filled them before they could put a, a baby in. I don't know. Alright, caravan's back. Right, yeah. I mean. Not a surprise that we've got some meat rotting away because we've got so much over here. Now, how are we feeling material-wise? Do I want to start this? Get the heater up and then we'll go ahead and, well here, I'll do, I'll do a couple to get things started and we'll unforbid the rest after. Sorry, did you fall asleep on the edge of the map? Like, wake up, surely you've got a bed. Eh, you know what? We'll just go and unlock all of it. It's fine. Because we need a constant supply of veg a little bit more consistently than we're getting on the outside over here. That's going to be good. Yeah, we're getting lots of rot. It makes sense. We got so much meat simultaneously that we probably could have just burninated a few bodies rather than doing the uh, the butchering. 
Lisa's in days because of being insulted. Okay. I mean, at least it's only a daze. It's not so bad. So Plasteel is good because we just got a ton as a reward, which is nice. Steel is the thing that's low. We're using a bunch over here. Um, now that Laura's giving birth, we can do a four-person mining party again, um, which is nice. These, okay, they do fall to rice. Good, because that's what I want. I was starvation. Seriously, like, what the heck's going on here? Yeah, throw some kibble in there. Sure. Apparently, um, baby food's really efficient for this. Is it a hauling job and just people aren't, you know, really set to do that right now? I guess I was, like, thinking of training Emily some more, but let's set a couple people on social. Yeah, I wonder if I should just throw up a couple of higher priority. Did I ask for the sub cores to get made? I queued these up, but I don't think I actually put in the order for the sub cores. Because I think I was I was hesitating. Oh no, we do have two basic sub cores. Oh, we don't have steel. Okay. Also components. Let me uh, dig out this big old chunk here. More rot. That's fine. Give everyone a bit of a rest. That's all good. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna find. There, this lump of steel over here. We're gonna we're gonna plan this caravan. So it's going to be Emily, Laura, and the two kiddos, Kamiko and Tomboy. They all can mind. We're gonna make sure to bring like all the grown horses with us. And all the package survival meals, which is way more food than we need, but that's okay. And there we go. Let's get a ton more steel. Want to finish this, want to get her defenses up. Power's fine now. We have lots of gojus as far as I can tell. I mean, especially when this is blowing. And we have a number of batteries, so hopefully that's okay. Hopefully they pack up without getting weirdly stuck, which can happen sometimes, as we've seen. Let's spread romper. Still making tons of claws. Luca, okay, Luca just ended their psychotic break, so they should be fine. Unloading. Oh, from the previous trip. Army caravan. Leading the exit. Perfect, yes. Please be leaving the map. We might want another charging station. Um, I think I will, since we are adding a couple more bots. There's a possibility, because we often see two charging stations being used with our current number of bots, so yeah, we'll get another one. Oh, there we go, Mech Gestator is going on too. Ooh, it's quite dirty in here. Maybe I should get a second clean sweep. You know what? I will. Oh, we found another steel pile. That's great. Emily. Um, Laura. Tomboy. Can we... All four of them are at the edge of the map, ready to leave. Well, I've never seen this. Like, they're good. They're done. Did a horse get interrupted? What? What is this? I'm going to remove you from the caravan. You don't seem to be loaded with anything. Okay. Hopefully that's fine. Are we on waste packs? Oh, we do have... 25, so let's load those up, please. Shit, Laura left. I didn't give her another gun. Oh, no, I forgot to reset her gun. Everyone else is okay? Yeah. See, I need to be running with the equipment manager mods so that people equip guns. And I don't miss that. Get that out of the way. That's awkward. Transfer pod is loaded. Um, if we get a retaliation raid now, I think we can, we'll be okay. I wonder if I send over here, is it possible that no one cares about this area? Oh, no, someone was still angered. Okay. It may not be possible to avoid anyone. Fight. 
Yeah, I mean, we probably... I don't know if we should be converting Cuzbo. Or we could try the ritual for it. But we can't right now, because Emily's gone. Um, we could use the rituals for these guys. I guess, yeah, I was forgetting about using the powers over here. Okay, we've arrived at the Lump of Steel. Great stuff. We're gonna flag this all to be mined. We're gonna move everyone forward here, just in case there's a random ambush or something. There we go. Uh, they're man-hunting bunnies, so... Not very terrifying. Although I have seen Monty Python, so who knows. Okay. Please dig that out. The structure's getting awfully full. Let's have some other statues there. Uh, we can install some more in this room. I mean, it's already, like, a fairly impressive room, but let's get it more so. Yeah, we have no miner at home. That's okay. That's by design. Oh, yes, this gibbet cage. Um, deconstruct all those, please. How are we doing here? And yeah, we're doing. Guest unhappy. I mean, this guest has been beat up a little bit, so it kind of makes sense. They're also quite hungry. They're being fed pemmican. Um, you know what we could do with this guest, first of all, is we can give them access to lavish food. Which might not be a terrible idea. Oh, the cataprac armor tech is coming in. Almost done. I forgot we were researching that. Yay, cataphrag armor. Okay, no more research. So... We're gonna count... both cataphrag armor and marine armor. For the helmet, Cataphrac helmet, Marine helmet, at least 60% HP. There we go. So we're actually not making Cataphrac armor right now. But we will make a Cataphrac helmet. Okay! Yeah, because it makes sense, because we've actually got, I think, a couple of people. We've got this. Um, I don't see where the prestige one is, but I'm sure it must be in here. I don't think anyone's equipped it. Maybe they maybe they did, actually. I don't think I forbade them from equipping it, so what the heck, right? It was Masterwork, so it may have been an upgrade for someone. Actually, that's probably exactly what happened, because this is only good quality, 82%. So I'm probably upgraded to the Masterwork version. All right, halfway done there. That's is still unhappy. That is annoying. I don't think it was a tremendous reward to do this, but it's still a little frustrating. Can you entertain them? No, you're just resting. And I don't have my... Hmm. I don't have someone who can take an action, a social action to counsel here. Hey, more distance deal. Okay. Maybe I should leave Emily here, but I appreciate her mining skill when we send them out like this. I don't know. Hopefully this works out. Who's starving? Laura. Okay, well, wake up. Go feed yourself. Come on. You got food. Seriously. You're not pregnant anymore, Laura. Um, I, I know you shouldn't get, you shouldn't starve at like an increased rate anymore, I don't think. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and put a cut in here. Hopefully our guest doesn't go way too cranky. But it's not the end of the world that you do. Very excited to bring back a ton of steel um, to finish off the next stage of base building. I think we'll have to do another steel um, trip. As I say, raid, but we're not raiding the steel site. But another mining expedition or two uh, to finish off the static defenses. But things are looking very good. Folks, thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.